Hello, hello, hello. It is Dolly. Welcome to my channel, Scrapping on the Go. This process video is for Old to New with Kathy and myself. And this is where we are using older scrapbooking magazines, selecting a layout to bring it back to new or bring it back to life. Using newer products or new techniques or a combination of both. For the month of September, I am selecting layouts from the January-February 2013 Creating Keepsakes Catalog. I selected this one from page 81, and I'll have the name of the designer listed below in the description box. First item that I grabbed from my scrappy stash is this chipboard from Simple Story Vintage Weathered Garden. And I grabbed the Dolly chipboard piece that matched the best with my papers, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Then I have some three by four cards and a vellum paper for layering. Then I selected these block puffy alphas from Maggie Holmes collection. Then I have these rub-ons from 49 and Market, and I'm going to use that last one because, again, it matches closely to the paper I selected. And here are the three Maggie Holmes pattern papers that I selected, and then that white paper. Then I have this chipboard piece from the Maggie Holmes Heritage Collection. As you can tell off camera, I've already matted my photograph, and I took the darker pattern paper and I trimmed it six by five and now I've taken that other paper that is kind of corrugated and um, tissue paper feeling and I used my creative memories scallop border punch and I tuck that little piece underneath the photograph. Then I'm taking the chipboard dolly piece and tucking that in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to select two of these three by four cards and layer them. And the first one is a flower one and it says happy day. And the other one is like a library card. Next, I'm going to tuck that strip of vellum paper in the upper right hand corner, but that is not where it finds its home in the very end. Next, I am going to use the rub-ons from 49 and Market. I'm going to use that last one that I'm pointing to, and it just rubs on like butter. And as you can tell, I have not secured down my photograph or my paper layers because I knew I was going to use this rub on. And after I finish rubbing that on, I am going to get out the Maggie Holmes Heritage Chipboard pieces. And you're going to see me build a cluster in the lower right hand corner. And then I'm going to get out my foam alpha phrase that says gather and that is from the simple story a vintage collection I don't remember which one well I'm just a little bit ahead of myself let me remind you that I will have Kathy's channel listed below in the description box so that you can go check out what she created this Friday for old to new and what older scrapbooking magazine she is working out of. Now back to my layout. As you can see, I tore that vellum piece and I tuck it under the library cards and it just adds another texture, another visual interest to this layout. And I have lots of textures going on. I have paper, vellum, puffy stickers, that corrugated tissue feeling type of paper. I have puffy elements and I'm going to have gold on here as well. And now you can see I'm working with that cluster in the lower hand, lower right hand corner. So we have a flower that goes beautifully with the collection I'm using. And then we have a camera. Then we have this chipboard circle with gold inlay with white XO. And then here is the puffy sticker from the Simple Story collection that says gather. 
And then I'm going to bring in another chipboard piece that will fit right under the word gather that says heritage. And then I do use also my Nuva Drops in, let me get the name of the color. It is called Mustard Gold. And I add five little dots to the left side of that dolly. And then I do add, of course, my splatters. And I use Dilution Spray, Shimmer Spray in Polish Jade. And I do make those splatters off camera. Then my very final touch, I use Harbor ink from close to my heart and I ink the entire perimeter edge of that 12 by 12 paper and that provides a nice frame around my picture and embellishment it helps draw your eye right to the picture and the picture is of my aunt and uncle and their two children from 1986 yes all right, now I'm comparing my layout to the layout that I am scrap lifting. And as you can see, my colors are very similar to what is in the layout that I am scrap lifting. I will have close-ups at the end. Give me a thumbs up. Be sure to share my channel and Kathy's channel and keep coming back. And um, most of all, get out your scrappy supplies, get out your photographs, and document those memories in a fun, creative way. And we will see you next time. Bye.